Plissard accident. Alpe de Haute Provence in France, 2014. Trinette Pellerin, first responder. <coughs> uh, I need throat sweets. I might take Mrs. Squirrel and ask her for some throat sweets. If you've run out of time, consider completing the task in a different order. Oh, nice car. Sporty. See, cool tiger. Oh, has somebody gone down the side of the cliff? This looks more like Spain than France, this. Yikes, that's not good. That's a smoking wreckage right there. Where's my phone in this car? Where's the fire? Wait, did that car just... <laughs> you did more harm than good? Did I just knock the car off the hill? <laughs> Oopsie. Did I do that? It said put the fire out, so I, I went to put the fire out. Put the fire out, secure the car on the edge. Wait, 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 wait. That wasn't my fault. I was nowhere near that car. How am I supposed to secure the car anyway? The game's lying to me. It tells me to do one thing. I should be doing the other. Um game please what am I supposed to secure it with I don't know what tools it's given me to do this like it tells me to secure the car but it doesn't tell me what we have available that can help how does putting the handbrake on secure a car on the edge of a cliff what have you got in here I literally can't stand any further that way. It sucks to be you, bro. Right, can we put a wheel in the back? Seriously, I don't even know what we're supposed to... Here we go. There's a rock here. You see, now we know what's available. Yeah? Now we know what's available. We can do something. What's that? Menthol and eucalyptus. Okay. I need lockets, right? Okay. 
I'm not weak yet. This is going to be another one of those annoying get the right pixel fires. It's still not out. Takes fire extinguisher, cast falls over, Cliff. Yeah, well, rip that. I didn't see an option to open the bonnet. There was no option. no option to open this bonnet at all that's locked that can be opened so which pixel do we aim for Me, sir. I need to reach you somehow and I can't. I literally can't walk past an invisible wall to turn off the ignition. How am I supposed to do that? I can't physically walk any further. How do we turn off the ignition? Ash first, thank you for half a year. Oh my god. Looks like we've got two dead people. Wait, no seatbelt? Oh, she's breathing. Victim's conscious. I'll take it these are dead. He doesn't look too good. Or she.
Go to Bruce. Broken neck. Rip. Right, so the woman first. That was her, wasn't it? Try to get the man out of his car. They're bringing the helicopter. Helicopter's on its way, love. Helicopter's on its way. Hello, sir. Helicopter's on its way. I think it's a bit late for him. Melting lava, thank you for 44 months. Discover the cause. What do you reckon, guys, before we start looking? What do you reckon was the cause? I reckon one car was overtaking the other over the bridge of a hill. That's what I reckon. I don't see any wild boars around here. Unless there's like a wild boar up there in the bushes going. I got this. Killer ball. The Baron Neitz crashes into Guillaume's car. Okay. Hugo breaks too hard and understeers onto the cliff edge. Go up. What? Wait, what? This is this is a thing. Do you reckon there's like a rock fall? There's gotta be a rock fall. Is that why I've got the option to go up? Loses control of the car. Oh, he, he comes flying down there, doesn't he? Look, he's he's lost control and he's come off that cliff. That's what's happened. I reckon he's been a bit sporty around here. Yellow sedan drives over a large rock and blows a tire. Eek. So he's come down here like this. He's come around this corner. There's been a rock there. He's hit it, blown a tire, lost control. Car's basically skidded off here. I presume it's come down this valley bit. The sedan falls from the cliff into the street below. Come tumbling down here and smashed into these two. That's them though. Ouch. Okay. So it starts off with that.
loses control of the car. Falls from the cliff. Crashes into that car. And then Hugo brakes too hard and he almost goes off the cliff. But we saved him. When emergency services were finally able to remove Ariane from the car, it was already too late. She died either when the car fell down the hill or when Berenice's car crashed into them. A few days after the accident, she was buried by her family. <coughs> Guillaume, Guillaume, I don't even say that. While his car was rolling down the hillside, he hit its roof so hard that he broke his neck and died instantly. Berenice... Despite losing consciousness, Berenice was not seriously injured after the accident. She was revived shortly after arriving at the hospital and left two days later. After that, she contacted Dubois and Kaplan families and helped them deal with her grief. They remain close friends to this day. Hugo. It took Hugo several hours to recover from the psychological shock that he experienced when his car stopped just at the edge of the cliff. The incident triggered severe acrophobia, fear of heights that haunted him for the rest of his life. Fortunately, with the help of a local psychologist, he was able to avoid more dangerous consequences. There is the troublesome rock. like the vulture thing at the end okay solved I don't know if they were speeding Street race. <laughs> the street race in Tennessee that goes wrong. 2004. No message from uh, Mark. No. the battery's dead so now I have to find a mobile phone in somebody else's car is that one next race what is this clearly been going to a race because they think they're in need for speed one of you must have a phone
Don't hang up. Return to me if you don't know what to do. <laughs> right, that's that car turned off. Where's ignition? Mark the accident location. Um. This guy's got fireworks in his boot. This is amazing. Check all the victims. One of them's pretty serious. Not good. Okay, he's alive. Sounds barely alive. Where's the fourth person? Okay, he's at location. Did he have a sat now? Don't think he did. Sat enough here. <coughs> Can, we not? Can we just give them like something off this phone box? Look for street signs. Surely the phone box has got a number. You just say it's this. Victims, right. Wait, why can't I help this guy? Why can't I help him? He's got the Uh oh. He ain't breathing, Jim. <coughs> Rob Martin, thank you for 18 months. 
That sounds like a French siren, not an American siren. <laughs> Discover the cause. Right, we've got four clues. Obviously, homeless person with a trolley full of recycled stuff. William Maddox is hit by a Freddy sports car. Hampton's car smashes into the sports car. I'm guessing they're both barreling down here and then they see the homeless guy. Wow, it's just nothing but a pool of blood left. Sports car stops in the middle of the intersection. Huh. What's the fourth clue, I wonder? No, the steam wasn't a clue, it said irrelevant. It's got an X through it. Uh, Trucking Pitbull, thank you for 91 months. Thank you so much. A long time. I don't know where this fourth clue is. Hmm. Nothing at the moment points to a cause other than just street racing and then freak timing. You know? Yeah, we saw that illegal street race. Okay. Right. Freddy Weaver participates in an illegal street race. The sports car stops in the middle of the intersection. Smashes into it. It's hit by the sports car. Right, so. Picks up his next quest in Need for Speed. Goes to the start point for the mission. Um, and then it's debatable as to which order these happen in. Okay, it's not in that order. How could the sports car be hit by the shopping cart after it stopped? So maybe he gets hit and then he stops and then... There you go. Participants in legal race is hit by a Freddy sports car. Sports car stops in the middle of the intersection. Hampton's car smashes into that car. There we go. <clears throat> William Maddox. In addition to several injuries, the crash broke William's left leg as a result of his poor overall health. He immediately slipped into a coma. His health was so poor that he never recovered from it and died in hospital four months later. Well, that's pretty sad. Your immediate assistance saved Freddy's life. The paramedics were able to revive him on the way to the hospital where he was charged with causing serious injury by driving recklessly, which eventually resulted in a 10-year prison sentence. Oof. Jason didn't suffer any serious injuries from the accident and was quickly released from hospital. He soon became interested in Freddy Weaver's case and some believe his testimony was the main reason for Freddy's unusual high sentence, although no one was able to find any solid evidence. Bethany, just like her husband, the accident didn't cause Bethany any major injuries. Two weeks later, she was able to return to work as the mayor's assistant. There 
was a third car that drove off then. Highway disaster. Hi again, another batch of cases have been prepared for you. These may be a bit more challenging, but I know you can solve them. Good luck. We got this. This one is over in Hungary, 2017. Thank you for nine months, Scotsman, by the way. And Amasaki, thank you for half a year. I did miss those. Thank you. Oh, it's quite rainy and dark. Hmm. Very quiet road. Personally, I would have left the lights on the car, but there you go. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> you see, that's why you leave your lights on. Because nobody can see you. Oh, there you go. Right, is it even any point putting up a warning triangle? Nobody cares anyway. this girl wonder If you can find a way and gain access to the van, gain access to the sports car. It's something heavy. If there's any tools in the back. No. No. Fire extinguisher. Right, so we've not been given any tools, so we have to find something heavy, which I guess means a rock or something. anything up along here.
Uh, Grass, thank you for seven months. Well, one person's just dying slowly right now. I don't personally think it'll let us, but we'll try it. Too dangerous to break. Apparently that works. We we'll unlock that one as well. Need something strong to pry it with. Somebody's nearly dead, though. Somebody is nearly dead. Don't think we're going to save. We might have to rewind, I think. This guy looks in bad condition. Can we not just get him out of there? Because he's clearly nearly dead. She's fine. He's got the first aid kit. Check the location. Dude, we need to save this guy's life. We already saw a sign over here somewhere. I know where we are. Now I can help the victims, even though it's now too late. I don't think I've got enough time. I knew it. Too much time trying to run around working out what to do. Enceladus, thank you for 91 months. Need to go back further than that. Dude, game, come on. Great view. I don't think this is enough time either. We need to go back. We wasted a ton of time just tr trying to figure out the fire extinguisher. Mickey Lujet, thank you for 65 months. Uh, yes, there is more. Oh, I was hoping he'd smack the door. Why is it suddenly lagging badly? Yeah, the game's just suddenly gone a bit freakish. It's fine now. It didn't like that rewind. There you go. It's luck. It's freaking out. What the heck is going on? It's not OBS, it's literally the game it's just since the rewind's gone weird. I 
What are you doing? Why has it suddenly gone like this? It's, it's a bit frustrating the way it makes you check all of the victims. Even though you know one needs help right, right now, but you can't help him until you've checked everybody. Mad South African, thank you for 86 months. Thank you so much. I think we saved him. I'm hoping we saved him. Look at him turning up at the same time as if that happens. Right, let's gather the clues and find out what happened here. Van collides with sports car. Daniel stops in the middle of oncoming lanes. Okay, so that's obviously after he'd gone through the barrier. So that obviously happens at the end. A sports car collides with the bridge support. <coughs> what caused the collision? That's the question. Car drives into the barrier and stops at the support. the reason though where's the boar come on where's the wild boar i know you're hiding in there somewhere barbara nemez loses control of her car how daniel capultz loses control of his car there's a lot of losing control going on Daniel's car collides with Barbara's. Okay. So there's a collision, but we don't know why. And then everybody just loses control. Right, so it, mu it must begin with this. Daniel's car collides with Barbara's. Daniel loses control of his car. Barbara loses control of her car. Debatable which order that happens in. And then the car drives into the barrier. Sports car goes into the bridge support. Stops in the middle of the oncoming lanes. Smacks into a van. <coughs> Fucking here, Dan. Thank you for 15 months. Okay, but that's not correct.
This bit's correct. If you look, it's lit up the arrows, though. <coughs> but this bit's not correct at the beginning. So maybe that's just in the wrong order. Nope. Okay, so somebody clearly loses control of the car, and then there's a collision. Aha. There we go. So he just randomly loses control, collides, she then loses control, and then it all happens. Daniel, thanks to your decisive actions, Daniel was quickly taken to the hospital. Unfortunately, his injuries were too severe and he died the next day. Sad times. Christopher. When Christopher's van collided with the sports car, his seatbelt was too loose and he hit his head straight on the steering wheel, which caused him to lose consciousness. Although he regained it about an hour later in hospital, for the next six months he suffered from frequent headaches. Fortunately, there were no lingering consequences of the accident and he returned to work soon after being released. Barbara, despite bleeding copiously, the wound on Barbara's forehead was only superficial. After spending one night at the hospital, she was allowed to return home. You're going too quick for the conditions. That's all on him, that one. That's all on the all on him, and he paid the ultimate price. <clears throat> and for the next mission, we go to Poland, twenty eleven. Claudia, Sylvester, not Sylvester, Sylvester, and Ludwig. Helping others, your own safety should always be your top priority. You won't help anyone if you become another victim. <clears throat> okay, why are we on a scooter? Or a bicycle or something? Uh-oh, train crash. Uh-oh. Get off the track. You're not telling me I have to save this person before they get hit, are you? As it said, we don't want to become another victim. Oh, it's not a train. I thought it was a train line. My bad. I, th I literally thought we were coming to a train line. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a perspective. I thought it was a train collision. Okay. I don't like the way it said you don't want to become another victim, which means something is going to be a threat to us, I think. Okay, everything's jammed. Need something heavy. <coughs> Waste a lot of time trying to find something heavy. What have we got? Emergency warning triangle. It looks like there's a construction yard or something over there. Maybe you can find something heavy over here. If we can actually get in.
I mean, a tree is heavy, but I don't think we can use one. Hmm. I don't know, we could try the fire extinguisher, but... Break that. Jammed. Crawl inside. Blimey. This is where we become a victim. Okay, check location. <coughs> check for possible hazards. Breathing. Oh, that looks nasty. That needs treating. That needs treating right now. That is spewing blood, that is. But first, we'll go and check on everybody else. Must have wasted too much time getting the fire extinguisher thing going. I mean, seriously, if you don't treat that wound right now, this person is going to die anyway. And yet I can't treat them, it won't let me. I think we might have to rewind further. That guy's just going downhill so quickly. Because pressing 2 for the med kit doesn't do anything, look. Literally doesn't do anything. You have to do it in order. So instead of stopping this guy from chucking blood everywhere, I have to check for possible hazards. And now, only now, can I do something, but then I don't have enough time. So we need to go back to a bit earlier so that I can um, spend less time searching for a fire extinguisher. Because at that checkpoint, it's not doable. Well, I ran to the construction yard because it said, look for something heavy. Yeah? And I was like, okay. You turn up on a bike, there probably isn't very much around. I would have thought there was heavy stuff over there. You know, it's not illogical.
That sounds too good for him, doesn't it? Two of them need immediate help. Try slip bleeding leg, then hurry to perform CP on the other. Which one? This one or this one? Good. Don't think he's made it. I think they were saved the guy with the laceration in his leg, though. So, what did cause this accident? Ludwig's car hits Sylvester while he's crossing the street. Her car slams into Ludwig's, pushing it sideways. I reckon somebody jumped a red light. Uh, Kian, thank you for 27 months. Hans, thank you for 16. Finally moved to my new apartment last weekend. Oh, nice. Rich B, thank you for 45. I'm not really sure where to look for clues here. It's not really obvious how this happened. Somebody was coming along this road, somebody came out of that junction, collided, hit that guy. That's what I'm thinking. I don't really see any obvious sign as to why. <coughs> and I would have gotten away with it, if it weren't for you meddling kids and your dog. Thanks, Uncle Scooby. It 
Seriously? The lights wrong. Don't know, mate. I'm looking at the cross and I can't see anything obvious. Claudia is texting while driving. <clears throat> of course. That won't be long. Right, where's the fourth clue? So that's obviously the starting point. Texting while driving. See, coming down this road or coming out here, do you think? Why the heck is the fourth clue? Next him while driving. Maybe we missed something on this one. Jammed. Any thoughts, guys? <clears throat> the problem is there's no, like, conclusion that we can come to about where the clue might be. clear where the other car came from to be honest did it come from this road or that road <coughs> no I tried to see if I could crawl back into the car but it wouldn't it wouldn't let me I was thinking maybe there was something in the other car but there's not I mean, yeah, if they came from this side, feasibly the sun's quite bright, but not when you're looking that way. I think that broken thing is that cardboard box, isn't it? <coughs> Unless you mean something else. I don't 
Sim. Mr. Simcock to do. Hmm. Mr. Simcopter, <clears throat> thank you very much for the host. I do hope you're well. And can we get a shout out for Mr. Simcopter, please, guys? He's a great streamer and definitely worth a follow. Appreciate the support. Hope you had a cracking stream. And I hope you and the family are well. I, I'm full of a cold, mate. I'm not, <laughs> not in a great place right now. <laughs> Soldiering on, as they say. Ah, I looked at every traffic light, but not this traffic light, which makes her turn the red, which makes her run the red light. There we go. Made her run the red light. You've had the cold for a week. Yeah, I've had it since Wednesday. It's not fun. So I think it starts off with her texting while driving. Which makes her run the red light. Yeah. And then obviously they have a smash. And then that hits the other guy. Is what I think. <coughs> Thank you, Rizzy. Claudia regained consciousness even before the arrival of the ambulance. She was deeply traumatized by the events but recovered the next day. After the accident, she became a much more careful driver, however, and never had another accident. For the rest of her life. Sylvester getting hit by the car and subsequently fail, uh, falling damaged Sylvester's spine just below the lumbar area. He spent the rest of his life in a wheelchair. He also suffered from a severe severed artery. However, your quick reaction prevented a major blood loss. There was no damage to the brain. So her texting put this guy in a wheelchair. Amazing. Despite losing consciousness, Ludwig didn't suffer any major injuries. The loss of consciousness was caused by the shock to the sudden collision than any physical damage. After several days at the hospital, he was released to return to work two weeks later. <laughs> Explain to me why she didn't go to prison for putting a guy in a wheelchair by texting. Goatzilla, thank you for 10 months. C. Quaid, thank you for 15. Leont, thank you for 14. Let's have a look at it. Oh, hi, her. Guy not die? How did he not die? He literally got hit in the head by a car. How on earth did he survive that? He was lucky to be in a wheelchair. That's insane. <laughs> 